Facebook, a platform that connected whole world socially, where users post comments, share photos, links and many more things. All was going well for Facebook. But, suddenly in early 2018, we noticed an immense decline in number of Facebook users. Which was trending for days, where millions of people came together to abandon and delete Facebook including politicians, celebrities and other dignitaries. Why? What happened? Why delete Facebook campaign? Aren't people satisfied with what Facebook is offering? So many questions but no one to answer. Well, everything has a reason behind. It all began in 2014, when a Cambridge student named Alexandra Kogan developed an app called This Is Your Digital Life, where more than 270,000 people gave away their personal information. He passed along this information to Cambridge Analytica. This incident came into limelight on March 17, when Christopher Wiley blew the whistle on Cambridge Analytica. He revealed in an interview with the New York Times and The Guardian that user data sold to Cambridge Analytica was used for psychographic profiles to manipulate the 2016 presidential election campaign. According Christopher Wiley, Cambridge Analytica had apps on Facebook that were given special permission to harvest data for not only the person who uses the app or joins the app, but it would also then go into their entire friend network and pull out all of their friends' data as well. So, if one person, if you join the app, Cambridge Analytica would not just see your Facebook profile, they would be able to see all the Facebook profiles of everybody you are friends with. On March 20th, a Federal Trade Commission, FTC, inquiry was launched into whether Facebook had violated a settlement reached with the U.S. government agency in 2011 over user privacy protections or not regarding which CEO Mark Zuckerberg was urged by lawmakers to testify before Congress, following to which on March 22, he posted an Facebook post and gave an interview to CNN, in which he mentioned that. I want to start with just a basic question, Mark. What happened? What went wrong? So this was a major breach of trust, and, and I'm really sorry that this happened. Um, you know, we have a basic responsibility to protect people's data. And if we can't do that, then, then we don't uh, deserve to have the opportunity to serve people. Finally, on April 10th, Mark Zuckerberg appeared before a joint hearing of the Senate Judiciary and Commerce Committees, where several questions were put up. Facebook after all these crises and after facing so many hardships didn't give up. Instead, Facebook came out with more major features, advanced policies, and bends to make platform more secure and safe like never. Let us look at the list of changes and updates Facebook implemented within this year amongst all the chaos, disorders and hardships. The first and foremost steps Facebook took was it suspended Cambridge Analytica and SCL Group from Facebook, pursued forensic audits to investigate Cambridge Analytica claims, and also took steps to protect election security that included with no links with IRA and to completely ban it from Facebook, 70 Facebook and 65 Instagram accounts as well as 138 Facebook pages that were controlled by the Russia-based Internet Research Agency were removed. Not only IRA-linked accounts were removed. Facebook also removed around 10,000 accounts of bad actors. With so much in mind, Facebook now gives users an option where users can measure Facebook's efforts to keep bad content off. Talking about elections, Facebook has brought up some new rules and policies for election-related and issue ads. Also, they are working on new election partnership with the Atlantic Council and on protection from abuse for Mexican elections as well. Regarding the data, Facebook is working to give people more controlled experience. Following to which, it launched Data Abuse Bounty Program for reports of data mishandling and has also updated plans to restrict data access on Facebook. Excluding the main, there are some additional steps as well taken by Facebook that includes features to provide more context for people, so they can decide for themselves what to read, trust and share. It is providing new privacy laws and offering new privacy protection to everyone. Also, revealed what information do Facebook advertisers know about users. Seems like Facebook amidst all the turbulence and hardships have outperformed other social platforms and is continuously working on new criteria and policies to stay on top. All we can say is good luck for the future to Facebook. <laughs>